next uh, song we're going to play is a, a co-write. It's, it's a story of a very famous circus performer. If you go back a uh, hundred years or so, the, uh, the celebrity performers, the real stars, were opera singers or circus performers. And uh, we had our fair share of international stars in both of those fields. But this, uh, this song concerns a circus performer who was known as Concolino. Sounds kind of Spanish or Mediterranean. That's because he assumed that name. He was actually uh, a half Aboriginal man who came from Lismore. And um, he uh, looked, because of his darker skin, he was a, a good looking man. He looked sort of a little bit exotic. And people weren't sure, is he Italian? Some people thought he was Hawaiian. Some thought he was Spanish. So he never revealed his, his background. He just went along with it. And, and in fact, he, um, uh, he, he made his famous part of his routine was uh, on the high wire, uh, he, he would dance and he would do sort of um, like a Spanish matador. He wore a cape and wore the matador outfit and like he's bullfighting on the high wire. Uh, but he, he did without a, a bull. Without a bull, that's right. <laughs> or without a safety net back in those days. Yeah, it was. And to this day, and we know this through Mark's daughter, who is a circus performer, mm. who told us a little bit about, um, uh, about the story and said that the, the uh, maneuvers, the what would you call it? The tricks? It a, a, particularly the forward somersault, because if you do a backward somersault, you can see where you're going and you see where your feet land on the wire. But to go forward, you have no idea where the wire is, so you just have to be very good at getting your feet on the wire. I've had two, replace, two knee replacement operations, and I don't think that would be a good calling, something for me to go into. <laughs> no, uh, not at this stage. No, no, not at this stage of my life. My daughter, on the other hand, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he became uh, internationally famous. Um, mainly through this, this act. So famous, in fact, that when the circus traveled uh, around Australia, he and his wife had their own carriage. And I mean, that's really, that's really something. Um, they, they talk about traveling in first class. But he became so well known, he, he traveled around the world. He performed in, in uh, USA, he performed in Europe, and oddly enough, became a favorite of a certain very well-known tolerant uh, leader, uh, Mr. Hitler, <laughs> who loved his act so much, thinking that he was a Spaniard and Spain and Germany were allies in the 1930s, uh, he gave him a passport to come and, and perform in Germany whenever he uh, wanted to. But of course, Concolino never revealed his true past. Uh, things ended uh, not so well for him. He and his wife and retired from the circus. They bought a pub in Forbes in western New South Wales. and. Uh, it wasn't a huge success by all accounts, but uh, this is the story of Concolino. Two, three, four. Concolino But it's really not my name This gypsy life is all I know Bought me fortune, bought me fame They come and see me in the big top See me from afar To watch me dancing On the high wire Watch me swinging On the stars Hey there Hoopla, it's the circus Watch them jump through Hoops of fire high above you in the rigging you see the wizard on the wire I'm the man on the wire When you 
you've started out with nothing you take every chance you get learn the ropes and learn the hard way learn to work without a net I'll be a Spaniard or Hawaiian Whichever country you desire You pay your money and I'll dance that dance Toreador on the wire Be the man on the wire more to the Lone Star State and that's a long way from home and that's a long way from home but I still hear the call of country Talking language round the fire Camilla Roy on my mother's side Another man on the wire 